No, no, say it like this. Gorgeous, baby. You're gorgeous. Gorgeous, baby. You're gorgeous. Right. This is the Josh Podcast Podcast Show. The anti-podcast podcast on God and man. The show that everybody's talking about. The show that will become a necessary part of your weekly mental diet. The show that picks up where joshrolf.com leaves off. The show title that uses the word podcast four times. <laughs> Introducing your host, Josh Rolf. That's right. I'm back. After taking a week hiatus, thank you for your patience. I did say that if I missed an episode, when I, when I committed to podcasting every Tuesday night, I said that if I do miss a week, it's probably because I'm dead. But I want to tell you that I am alive. And I did not miss a podcast because I got in- seriously injured. Fortunately, I was watching the Democratic convention, so depending on your take on politics, maybe you feel like I was injured, or maybe you think I was just in love with the whole thing. I will leave that to you to discern what I was feeling that evening. I was feeling a lot of things. I have been over the last two weeks, and last week I was dying to do a podcast called politics. And I, I'm i not quite ready yet to do it. So I, I was going to do it Tuesday. Then I thought, no, I'll wait till Wednesday. And then Thursday came Friday. You know how the days go. And so here I am now, two weeks later after the last episode, which I have to say, the one on time, body and mercy was the title. That has received the most listens than any podcast in a while. So it's a more serious topic. It was a serious post or episode based on a serious blog post. When I say serious, had to do with heavier topics. I wasn't just, you know, joking around, joking or that Josh. Uh, instead, I I thought I'd... I'd well on a more serious topic and so uh, hopefully that was enjoyed the other reason well it rolls into the Democratic Convention I I broke down and got cable for the first time in five years for five years our family has relied on the internet streaming Apple TV, watching shows through iTunes and Netflix to consume our television. And it's been really frustrating for someone like me who's really into politics. I am into politics so much that I not only studied it in college, so I had no interest prior to college. I mean, a little bit in high school, but I never got involved on a campaign it wasn't until college, and I can tell the story sometime of how it ha- how it all went down, but I got really into politics, so much so that um, I-, I didn't want to do anything else, except I got through school and thinking, what am I possibly going to do? I should save all this for the politics episode. I'm going to save this for the politics episode. Today, I'm going to talk about, first off... I got cable. That's where I was going with all this. I got cable. And now I have like no interest in podcasting because suddenly I have something else to do with my time. I've been watching lots of TV instead of being a creator of content on the podcast. I've become a consumer of content. So getting cable just might kill the podcast. A lot of the episodes in this podcast, so now I'm at 51 episodes. I had 50 last two weeks ago as my 50th episode. So a real milestone. I'm I'm almost at two years doing this. So I'm averaging about two a month and I want to get to four a month or once a week, Tuesday nights. 
And a lot of the episodes have been me reading old blog posts. What I haven't done on the show is read future blog posts, experimental blog posts that have been sort of sitting in the draft stage for a long time, but I haven't yet published them. And so So what I'm putting out there is a future blog post that may change when it goes live as a published written post. The natural progression of of this is to go from a blog post or something written to a podcast episode. So I'm doing it backwards today. I also, I had a live studio audience here in the Rolf studios where the Josh podcast podcast show goes down, but my live studio audience of one just left to go to bed. So it's back to me sitting here talking to myself, which is cool, but I want to say, This is what has kept me from posting this blog. I know I'm jumping around here, so forgive me. What has kept me from posting this particular blog post, which I first wrote, I don't know when. It could have been, oh gosh, my guess is it's been at least a year. Probably it was last summer. For some reason that is, I'm I'm seeing my dining room table Uh, during the day, the sunlight and this idea comes to me and I'm, I'm typing it out. So I think that is, I think that's when it was about a year ago, July is my guess, but it could be a little older than that. It feels older because I've been sitting on this forever. I've only touched it up a few times and I've never really gone into my writing process on here. Not that anyone cares, but each blog post I've written I have devoted a significant amount of time to, and then the podcast episodes take some time to, I shouldn't admit that, but it does. It's a hobby. I I enjoy it and I want it to be half decent if it has my name on it. So, so there is some time that goes into the writing, uh, for, for the blog and, uh, and then doing it right on the podcast anyway. This is what has kept me from posting the blog post. What's kept me back? What has kept me back? Can I drag this out any longer? What's kept me back is how to describe the point of the post, which is this, this scenario. Imagine you and I are at a party. You are talking to me. And I'm nodding my head and I'm looking you in the eyes. I'm looking at you. And then a few seconds goes by and I look behind you. I look to your side. I look over your shoulder. I look past you. I look around the room. I look at you. I nod my head. I then you're still talking to me this whole time. I then look away again. I'm looking past you. Okay. I don't, the reason I'm not publishing this post yet is because I don't know what that's called. There is a word or a phrase for that. Is it looking past you? Is it look, it's not looking over your shoulder or is it, is it looking away from you? Is it scanning the room? Is it, what is the rude thing? Cause what I've, what I've tried to do on the blog post is I want to, I wanted to find a picture. So I've been doing Google image searches galore. I've spent more time doing Google image searches than I have writing this post. I want to get the right picture of a guy talking to someone who is looking around the room and maybe Maybe I can, maybe it's out there. If you can find that for me, if you can find the right expression that describes the situation, please tell me. So here, here's what we're doing. I am going to read you 
this experimental post. And the way I started it is that the situation I, I have just told you at this party, you may think I'm ignoring what you're saying when I look everywhere around the room, but at you, but I actually have a pretty good reason. I'm looking away from you because, and then I list 21 reasons that I might be looking away from you where I'm actually justified in doing so. Number one, I'm looking away from you because I see through the window over there that a derailed train is heading straight toward this house. Is that funny? <laughs> it might not be funny. I'm testing it on you. You are the live testing, testing audience right here. I'm looking away from you because you're on Dancing with the Stars on that TV over there. I like this one. I'm looking away from you because you have a gross white spittle thing that somehow formed and it's connecting your lips as you move them up and down while you're talking. Number four, the person who saved me from drowning when I was a kid just walked in the door. Five, we're actors and it says to do so right here in the script. I'm looking away from you because I see dead people. Now I'm fully aware that saying I see dead people isn't funny anymore. I'm looking away from you because I'm actually looking at you square in the eye, but you can't tell because my eyes are slightly off kilter. I'm looking away from you because I found people are bothered by my tendency to not blink. I'm looking away from you because I'm trying to send you a message. Number 10, the guy standing behind you has some incredible dandruff. I'm looking away from you because I see dead people. Number 12, I'm looking away from you because I'm bothered that out that window is a lunar eclipse and you don't seem to care at all. 13, I'm looking away from you because you have dandruff, like the really bad kind. 14, when can I get over there? Because I have to pee in the worst way. Number 15, for years I've been practicing to be the kind of person that looks away from you at a party, and today I have finally succeeded. I'm looking away from you because I have dandruff. 17, I'm looking away from you. Every time I talk to someone, I look away because I have no self-confidence. 18, every time I talk to someone, I look away because I'm trying to be dramatic. Do I look dramatic? I'm looking away from you because I see dead people. Like, for real this time. 20. I'm looking away from you because I'm playing I Spy. You're supposed to guess what I'm looking at, silly. And the last one. I'm looking away from you because I really wish I was talking to the person behind you. And that's it. That's the episode. Future posts. Do you like them? Do you like future posts? Looking past you. Do you have any others? Do you want to add to the arsenal here? Uh, I might throw it into my blog. Add numbers 22 through whatever. Be sure to check out former episodes like the Thank You Note Loop series. Don't know if you caught that one, but parts one, two, and three of many more to come have been finished. Uh, I'd love feedback on those because I, I fully realized that there were parts of it that were not funny. It's slow funny. It's maybe more British funny, but it's funny. There is funny. There is, I'm trying to be objective here. I think it was funny. Thank you for listening to the Josh Podcast Podcast Show, the anti-podcast podcast on God and man. For more information, visit joshpodcast.com. Follow Josh on Twitter at Josh Rolf. 
That's Rolf, R-O-L-P as in podcast, H. Now go and have the best day and night ever. And have fun. Oh, oh, oh.